The amount of times I go to a client and say, oh, the paper plan, I cringe. You know, remember, feeling the plan is planning the feel. Always remember. If you don't have a destination, you'll never get there. If you and I didn't decide to get that before this morning, we wouldn't be here. It's the exact same way our business. If you don't have a desired destination, there's not a hope in hell you get there. You can analyze the past, but the man who I've sat on a couple of boards with some of you know for a number of years, Dr. Martin Law, Dr. Martin Law, the man I unbelievable respect for. There's two words if you ever sit on boards and you couldn't go any meeting with design and innovation. And basically, design means, and it applies even more to a service business like an accountancy firm. Design means putting things together <coughs> to deliver a value added solution to meet or indeed exceed client or customer expectations and thus deliver market differentiation because that's what business is all about. If I'm walking up the street tomorrow and I see two cafes, which one am I going into? <coughs> it's the one I perceive to be the better one. Differentiation in the marketplace. And when market conditions are changing rapidly, we, we cannot assume that our existing product or service is currently the right product or service for the market. We must keep reviewing the situation. Now a character that I currently look at now a few times is He's actually talking about the weight loss that he's recently done. So yeah, this is important. But anyway, he's a world girl, basically on performance management. A guy called this guy Zig Ziglar. And you know, if you think about it, I think he's right. He says to be a winner, you must plan to win, you must prepare to win, and you must expect to win. Think about that. You must plan to win, you must prepare to win, and you must expect to win. Go back to your business today and ask some of your colleagues: Are we planning to win? Or are we just going through the motions? Is this key? And it's very simple. Look at the seven things he puts down. I'm not going to go into them now. All simple stuff. Basic stuff. In your own time, you can read them. But I think one of the most important things is number five. It's really important in the today's environment to identify people, groups, and organizations to work with. The new buzzword in international business is collaboration. Networks, yes, but collaboration even more so. And collaboration is the way forward currently with scarce resources. And there's no doubt about it, a business does need direction, structure, and process. Certainly within FPM, we have what we call the FPM Rafa. I'm not going to bore you. But believe you me, we've rewritten our business plan, I'm sure, eight, nine times in the last three years. Two hours does it with this model. The second, your vision is your strategy, then obviously your structure, your culture, and then there's your five. We summarize our operations and processes into those five headings. And actually, there's virtually no organization you sit down and look at it. Cap, <coughs> you might think you're 50 processes you haven't. You should be able to get them in under those five headings, uh, operation, and see what you're going to do to meet your vision. <coughs>